What's up guys, Skid Rampage here, so today we do have Funko News updates. We do have a possible release of two new Hot Topic exclusives for Naruto and Fire Force, as well guys, as it does look like some box lunch stores are restocking the Water Dragon Tanjiro. We also do have some new Star Wars pops and other new stuff guys and updates, so let's check it out. Okay, so before we jump into today's video, I just want to say like a huge thank you. And this is going to lead up into something really quick. I want to say huge thank you for all the support. As you guys know, in a couple days, like a week or so, we do have our 40k stream coming up. And it's about 2,300 subscribers over, but don't, don't worry about that. But it is coming within the next week, guys. I already have it scheduled. I might have to push it off a day or two because I am in the process of moving, but um, yes, it is coming. And I want to say thank you for 40K. Thank you for 42K. Thank you for, you know, a lot of things, guys. I really do appreciate you guys. And as I do have probably like a thousand dollars worth of giveaways or maybe like somewhere between 750 to a thousand dollars in giveaways for that stream something like that um i do actually have more giveaways and these were provided by AAA anime they said i could do whatever i wanted with them give them away or whatever and i did choose to give them away um so what i'm going to be doing <clears throat> so what i am going to be giving away is these actual three naruto protos so the first one is kabuto there as you can see and if you don't know what a prototype is guys a prototype is an unpainted basically an unfinished version of a funko pop and it is worth significantly more than your typical funko pop as you know kabuto is only worth about ten dollars for his regular common but this proto can be worth anywhere from 200 to 500 dollars i want to say i don't know the exact prices um i haven't seen any of these on the market anywhere for sale so i want to say anywhere between two and 500 some protos go for a thousand then we also do have two shikamaros this one's all kind of like uh basically like a cream white color this one is like a cream and black color this is really really awesome so we do have three protos to give away all valued again anywhere from two to five hundred dollars so another thousand dollars in funko pop prizes to give away the reason i want to give away is just a thank you to you guys i will be hand picking winners for these these are going to be set up all across the next month or two give away one in a couple weeks and maybe another couple weeks after that maybe Maybe one for Christmas, etc. But I just kind of want to announce that I will be giving away some protos. I announced this on my Instagram last night, but I wanted to say in a video as well that we will be giving away like a thousand dollars in protos, which is going to be crazy. Never thought I'd be up at this point, and I just want to give back and say thank you again. I will be handpicking the winners to make sure it goes to like a you know really big fan and not someone hopefully that won't just resell them. But at the end of the day, once I give them to you, they're yours to do whatever you want with. I just want to give back in any way possible. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Now let's jump into the news. All right, so now for the Funko news, we do have. Have a couple new announcements some kind of updates on current anime pops that you guys may have been looking for and some new stuff and everything like that so we're gonna be going over a lot this video might be up a little bit earlier one I am in the process of moving today and two I want to get these updates out before if possibly some of these do go live tonight I want to reach as many people as possible uh, so the first thing we do have is some closer looks at some new pops. so first up from pop culture today we do have a better look at the Winnie the Pooh I believe the Hot Topic exclusive where he's reading a book then we also do have Kate Pride with Lockheed, and then we also do have the Stitch and Angel 2-pack, kind of like a winter 2-pack. Um, I believe the Kate Pride one is a Walgreens exclusive, the Lilo and Stitch one is Hot Topic, and Winnie the Pooh is Hot Topic as well. I think these look great. Uh, I don't think Bailey wants a Lilo and Stitch 2-pack. I think she's been cutting back a little bit on Lilo and Stitch lately uh, to collect some other things like lounge find, things like that. Uh, but for the most part, guys, I think these all look good, and I wanted to show you guys some better looks. And comment down below, are you guys picking up any of these? Do you guys like any of them? Let me know your thoughts on them. Uh, next up, guys, coming from Joel's uh, daddy over on Instagram slash Funko Mio's Instagram, we do have a better look and a, I guess a first-person in look at the Neo Pop from the Matrix 4 here. Look at that. That's so cool uh, to see basically it's like exactly like Keanu Reeves as a pop which is awesome uh, so this one is significantly different than the Neo pop or the original Neo pop from the first Matrix movie so I'm kind of curious where the value will land on that one because it looks so different do you like the older school uh, Neo pop or do you like the newer one from this newer movie let me know your thoughts either way I think they look great and I cannot wait to see the glow feature on that actual like Matrix coded uh, Neo pop from Books a Million I think that's gonna look great can't wait to see it spotted over in Target stores guys it does look like Splinter the art series part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line is starting to hit Target stores. So if you are interested in any of these art series from this TMNT line, make sure to check your local Target stores because you could come across Splinter. And personally, I think he looks the best out of all of them. 
and that's saying something. <laughs> Anyways, next up, guys, we do have a couple Funko rumors going around. I think these ones come from Funko Miwa. We do have Gingerbread Groot exclusive. Now, this makes sense because he already looks like a gingerbread character, so it's like wood and kind of looks like ginger I get I don't know I don't know what I was going for there you know anyways we could see gingerbread Groot in the future as well guys as a Funko Pop animation solar opposites four pack most likely four commons repackaged into a four pack exclusive unfortunately but if you're interested in that and you wanted more pops for that line you can collect the four pack if it does come out now released the other day guys we did see Venom on Throne on Pop in a Box's website I believe this was yesterday here's an actual out of box like better look at him so you can't see like the basic tendrils kind of going all around with the little venom faces and it does look like okay for my king king venom or venom on throne whatever you want to refer to it as does he have a sword there is that a sword in his hand from what i'm looking at like the orange like it looks like a sword does he have a sword let me know for anybody who is kind of interested in this i just like venom i'm not really interested in too many comics but i think he just looks awesome so as a venom collector or a venom fan i'm just kind of like picking up the pop because i think it looks amazing and the fact that it does have a glow in the dark feature is amazing but i would like to learn more if you guys are willing to uh, teach me a little bit about this one uh, but anyways guys yes venom on throne there looks amazing and I can't wait to see this one in person. Again, this one should be coming out next year sometime within the next few months. Um, I think it had a January or February release. Something like that. Anyways, if you did order it, you know what your, you know, order said. But comment down below, did you guys pick up a Venom on Throne yesterday? Do you guys plan to pick it up? Comment down below if you guys grabbed one. Next up, guys, spotted on Funko's Twitter, we do have a better look at the Jasmine kind of like gold series Funko Shop exclusive here with the pop pen. It's kind of weird that the pop pen is a different color and not the same color as the actual pop. I felt like that was kind of weird. So I guess it just shows that they use the same mold, I guess, or use the same style and then paint it over it. I guess I never realized that with these pops. That's interesting. Why wouldn't the pop pen be the same? I just, okay, that's interesting. Either way, I think it looks really good and Bailey will be picking up this one as well. But does she have that one? No, I forgot. I packed up all her pops. So every time I look back there for reference, it's all my pops. It's all anime and Marvel. Anyways, I think that one does look really, really nice. Uh, next up, guys, we did get a few new pops announced today. Uh, first up, we did have Jar Jar Binks, a GameStop exclusive, which honestly, I thought this was kind of cool. A lot of people don't like him, I heard. Bailey was telling me from the movie that I saw. I was like, the one with, the one with Qui-Gon Jinn. God, I can never remember that movie. It's not A New Hope. Someone let me know. I don't know. I've seen like one Star Wars movie full through. I watched it for you guys and it was good. I want to watch more. I just don't have the time to sit down for three hour movies, two, hour, two to three hour movies. Anyways, Jar Jar Binks here does look really cool. Um, so if you are a Star Wars fan, you can pick it up over at GameStop. Over on uh, Entertainment Earth, they actually did get a brand new exclusive of hooded Luke Skywalker here with the green lightsaber, part of the Mandalorian line. Still available if you do want to pick it up. And I think that one's kind of cool. So it's glow in the dark, but I believe only his lightsaber glows. So I feel like that's kind of a lack cluster glow. I don't think this one needed to be a glow in the dark. Maybe make something else glow. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what they could have done, but I feel like it's a very lackluster glow in the dark pop. Either way, I think the pop overall is awesome though. So again, if you guys want to pick up these two new Star Wars exclusives, head over to GameStop and Entertainment Earth. Now today, Funko did announce the final Wonder Woman pops here. Uh, so different variants there, a little keychain as well as some Funko plushies. This Wonder Woman line was huge. Comment down below how many of these Wonder Woman pops, these brand new ones, did you pick up? Did you guys pre-order any new ones today? I'd love to hear uh, what you guys did pick up from the Wonder Woman line. Now this one I wanted to share. I don't share too many lounge fly bags, but I thought this was really cool from LA Comic Con. So it's a Harry Potter kind of like Honey Duke steam, uh, like themed bag here, basically a store. And he can actually go in there. The pop or the bag opens and then you can put Harry in there and then you can pop him out as well. I thought that was really cool. I was like, okay, that's the first time I've seen Funko do something like that where you can put pops in bags and take them out. That's really neat. It's like a little door there. I think that's so cool to me. I wonder how it latches though. That I'm curious. Is anybody picking this one up at LA Comic Con? Someone, if you are picking this up, send me a video of how that works because I want to see. <laughs> I, don't, I don't tag me in a post or something like a little video if you collect. Is, is this lounge play? I don't know. Bailey knows the difference. I can't tell sometimes. Anyways, if you do want to pick this one up, I believe it is a LA Comic Con exclusive. Now make sure to check your local box lunches because it does look like the Tanjiro Water Dragon exclusive is starting to restock kind of randomly. Now this was at the Florida Mall. 
I think that one's a couple hours from me, so obviously I missed out on this restock, but um, Captain Pops is actually helping me out because I don't have this one anymore, um, and I'll be throwing it back in my collections. Thank you, Cap, if you're watching this video. But anyways, yes, they are surprise restocking pretty much at random at Box Lunch stores, so I would just say follow your local Box Lunch on Instagram, as I do tell you guys, and if it does restock online, I will do my best to try to catch it and uh, post it on my Instagram, so if you're not following me there yet, make sure to follow me there. But yeah, guys, it just seems to be random in terms of this restock. It hit Florida, so it's definitely definitely is restocking randomly on the East Coast. In terms of the West Coast, we will see in the next few weeks. But again, just make sure to check your local box lunches like daily if you can, as well as their Instagrams because they may post when it does restock. Now, what most people have been asking me for for the last like week and a half is the Naruto on Gamakichi. So on Hot Topics website, it did update with the actual glams of this pop, which is a good sign that this thing will be going live fairly soon here. Now, there are rumors that this one could be going live on Hot Topics website tonight at 8.30 p.m. Uh, PT through 9.30 uh, p.m. PT. So if you don't know what that is in EST, uh, West Coast is PT and then EST is East Coast, So just so you know. Uh, but EST, that would be anywhere between 11.30 p.m. Um, uh, EST and then as well as 12.30 a.m. EST. So this one could be a midnight drop possibly. So if you guys are after this one, make sure to be following me on Instagram because I will try to post this one if possible if it does go live. This We have no idea how much stock they're going to put up if it does go live tonight and that seems to be the ongoing issue because they could put up a thousand and then not restock it for like three weeks. They like to do that. So it is also actively hitting stores so make sure to check that. But I got a kind of got a story for you on that. But anyways, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over there because I did post the actual link in my story so you guys can save the link there and it's just an easy way to actually go access the link. Click that and it'll take you right to the sale of the pop if it does go live tonight and I'll put out a reminder post the best I can. No promises on that because again I have a lot of my plate moving today so I will do my best. Now in terms of in-store releases it does look like some stores are not putting a cap on their actual um, two per limit. Some stores have a two limit on Funko Pops but some stores were actually letting people buy a little bit more like five or more which was kind of crazy because a lot of people are ending up with a lot unfortunately so I would say just get to your local store early if they do post because maybe they might go against that two-person rule I have no idea this is just something I've seen a couple people talking about that some stores are not limiting them which does suck because they should have a limit because these are obviously highly sought after and they're constantly being flipped or you know resold all over Mercari and eBay so they're already hard enough to get but I do really hope it does go live tonight for you guys and hopefully I can help you out with that and good luck to everybody going after this one and I do want to say this if it doesn't go live tonight make sure to be actively checking that link between those two times that I did tell you within the next few days because it's going live any day now because again it did update the listing finally with official glams so that typically means that it is coming soon now next up guys we did see Funko Finders actually tweet out that we could be possibly seeing Tamaki drop alongside Naruto as well so we could see a double drop, which would be really, really annoying. I'm not going to lie. Tamaki doesn't really have an exact time frame. I would assume if it's dropping next to Naruto, if it does happen, if any of this does happen, this is all hypotheticals right now. Uh, but anyways, if it does happen, it would probably drop around the same time, if anything. But a lot of you guys were looking for an update on Tamaki. That's the best update that I have that we could possibly see it drop tonight or, or within the next few days. Hot Topic's been pretty silent about both of these exclusives, I'm not going to lie. Oh, and another thing that I just remember about Naruto, guys, was that apparently Naruto did have a street day, according to a Hot Topic. Uh, somebody shared it over on Twitter. The only issue I have with that is on the West Coast, like 20 to 30 stores or so released this pop. So if it had a street day, they definitely didn't follow it. And they said that they released it on accident. I don't see how like 20 stores release something on accident there was no street date I don't believe there was a street date for a minute because typically when it does have a street date it's register locked and it won't let you actually buy these items and managers are really strict so if anything there's probably a street date now so they can actually have a coordinated um, you know actual sale of this pop but it's weird because why mention there's a street date and then say that it's confidential and we can't share it right now what what is confidential about a street date? It just tells us when the pop is good. Like, they're so weird with these rules and things like that with these Funko Pops. I swear, it's crazy. Anyways, I want to give you guys all the knowledge that I had and everything, all the information that I had on Naruto and Tamaki so far. We could see a possible drop of both of those and a possible new street date for Naruto and Gamakichi, if anything, if anybody's really enforcing that, we will see. Anyways, that's everything that I have for Naruto and Tamaki at this moment. All right, guys, that's everything that I have for you for today's Funko News updates. Again, make sure to look Look out for those proto giveaways for Naruto, the Shikamaru, and Kabuto. That's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, make
Make sure to also stay tuned for my 40k live stream, which I would love to see as many people as possible join because I'm going to be giving away a ton of prizes. I think I have like 15 to 20 prizes, so there's definitely enough for a lot of people to enter. It's going to be like a three or four hour stream. We're going to have a lot of fun and I cannot wait to see you guys there. Uh, I just want to give back to you guys and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're on our way to 50k as well, so I'm sure there will be some big giveaway at 50k too. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you are excited about the giveaway, smash that like button down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video and feel helpful, in any manner make sure to smash that like button too uh, or just like the video because you like liking videos I don't know it helps me out and I hope you do it uh, anyways I do want to say a huge shout out to my patreon supporters thank you so much for the continuous support I really do appreciate and love you guys for if you guys want to check out the patreon the link is always down below a lot of fun stuff going on over there as well guys as we do have a patreon only discord where a lot of this news is shared for first so if you guys are interested in that and want some early news and things like that make sure to join the discord down below I also want to tell you guys make sure to check out the Facebook group it's buy sell and trade and you can make a ton of friends as well as be following my social media it's Instagram Twitter and TikTok all at Skittle Rampage all right love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later. Bye.